the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Sisters and brothers of the risen Christ, as these 50 days of the Easter season continue, we join all the earth in crying out with joy to God who raised Jesus to new life. Like the first century community of believers, may we now greet the risen Lord Jesus, our Good Shepherd, who is in our midst and who offers his peace, hope, and strength, and has sent us forth to witness forgiveness that he bestows. So let's ready ourselves, let us praise the risen Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, risen Son of God, you are the Good Shepherd. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Praise to you, risen Son of God, you and the Father are one. Christ have mercy. Christ have, have mercy. mercy. And praise to you, risen Son of God, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord have mercy. Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life eternal. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, grant that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may enjoy to receive the joy of your redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he came to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year, they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord of loves. The gates of Zion, more than any other dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those who know the Lord, of Felicia, Tyre, and Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion, I shall say, one and all were born of her. And he who has established her is the Most High God. All you nations, nations praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing their festive dance. My home is within you. All you nations, nations Praise the Lord.
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. The Feast of Dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. But the works I do, in my Father's name, testify to me. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hands. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The unity of God and Jesus was difficult for the people to comprehend. Jesus started now in this part of his public ministry to address that problem. First of all, to acknowledge their, whole, their hard-heartedness, to, well, show them his compassion and care in the way that he responded to that wholeheartedness, and brought them around to start to look a little more carefully at what he was doing and how he was doing this. Not only that he could prove to them that he and the Father are one, but that they would know how to spread that truth to others how they would make it alive in their lives. How through compassion, caring, loving, healing, forgiving, sometimes putting up with and dealing with difficult situations. Well, I think we understand what that's like. Jesus brought them to himself as a magnet does to metal. And so we, in this season, in this year, as we celebrate this season, let us not hold back from being attracted to Jesus, from being pulled in to his life, to his love, to his compassion, to his generosity. Forgiving where forgiveness is needed, building up where building up is called for, and just loving and loving those who we care dearly and deeply about. Let us pray now for ourselves, for each other, and for all of God's people, that the love and compassion of Jesus, who died for us, but who was raised to life again by his Father, may be the inspiration for the way that we live our days. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those among us who are sick and suffering, especially those most in pain, not only the ones that are sick themselves, but who love them very dearly and deeply. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who minister to us, minister to them, and for all those who are striving and struggling to put life back into a way that will continue to journey towards eternal glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we join Jesus in praying for one another for sharing your gifts of life and love, of healing and forgiveness. Continue to bless us all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. 
obligations that through your goodness we have bread to offer, which, as it's given in human hands, have made. May the bread become our bread of life. Let's be God forever. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirits and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O God, and may our sacrifice be pleasing to you. Wash in the light of the Lord, come and bear these sins. So let us pray that our sacrifice indeed is acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, the praise of his name, name, for our good and the good of the church. Father, grant that we may always find delight in these pastoral mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of an end in joy. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Almighty Father, and eternal God, through Christ your Son. He is the Word through whom you made the universe. He is the Savior you sent to redeem us, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, Jesus stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest resurrection. Now with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the house. Father, you and are holy. You are the font of all holiness. So make holy these gifts by sending down your spirit on them like you do, that they become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He then broke that bread and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, and it will be given up for you. In a similar way, as supper was ending, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant that is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. We give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Father, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope Joseph, our Bishop, all clergy and holy people. Remember always our brothers and sisters in Christ who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. And all those who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and St. Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we too may become co-heirs to each other life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So at our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, deliver us from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the final coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously and grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. You will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. That peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Thank you. Lamb of God. You take take away away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take take away the the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You You take take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you stand under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Father, hear our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present time and ensure us all of eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And with you. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ending. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.